Hello guys, this is Michelle, um, welcome to my channel, if you are new, welcome, or well, if you're returning, welcome back. Alright, so tonight is the beautiful feast of the valley, and um, I'm going to be reading from um, Sharon's book. Um, if you guys hear some really bad singing in the background, uh, that, that is my mom. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. Okay, so, um... So tonight's a beautiful feast of the valley. Uh, it deals with um, Amun and um, Hathor. So um, I'll read the historical background of this um, holiday and um, the modern observances. Um, I did um, post the ritual for the beautiful yeah, feast of the valley. Um, I lost my brother. Um, on my forum, so if you guys are interested, um, I'll once again post the link to my forum and you can get the ritual from there if you do not um, own Sharon's uh, second book. So here goes. The Feast of the Valley is one of the best known Thebian festivals among the Opet Festival. It generally commences at the beginning of So Moon 2. The festival dates back to at least the Middle Kingdom, continued through Greco-Roman times, and is still celebrated albeit in modified form as the Muslim festival of al Haggad, the valley referred to in the original uh, feast name as a Wada in western Thebes that was sacred to Hathor, Lady of the West, Amun, B.I. his icon traveled across the Nile in procession to commune with Hathor in her sacred conclave. Later in New Kingdom, the icon of Mut and Koshnu traveled with him, emphasizing the link between Mut and Hathor. This hollow ground became a site of, um, I can't pronounce it, um, no. uh, Hatcher Simple, uh, Hat Shepsut's temple and the now ruined temple of Tutmos III, all meant to receive Amun during his tour of the Western Valley. The veil between the living and the dead was believed to be thinnest at this point of the year, and many of the festival observances centered on communion with the blessed dead. Amun, who possessed supreme power, fertility, and renewal, participated with Hathor in re energizing and giving rebirth to the blessed dead. They were also said to pour water. For the dead, on the human level, the king would pour water for his royal ancestors, and native Thebians would observe much the same rite for their own departed loved ones. Families would hold nocturnal banquets in the chapels of their family tombs, drinking heavily so they could commune with their dead in Hathor's care. Text references from Deir al Medina also mentions two days of offering to the gods. Uh, modern observance, the curious combination of fertility and communion with the dead lacks clear parallel in mainstream pagan practices. As an approach we took one year is our open circle was to celebrate the Feast of the Valley on Memorial Day weekend, trying to commemorate the fallen veterans and more generalized memorial blessed dead that also anticipated the coming of summer. Um, and of course, um, she has a ritual and yeah. Yeah. Um, so um, it's really interesting um, one thing I really love about this book is that it really gives you a lot of really great information and I will soon be doing a book review for this book um, so I'll uh, let you guys go and save you from the torment of trying to uh, hear my mom sing so see you guys around bye